So here we are at the Hewitt Wide Hill Camera. It's a very odd looking telescope, I can tell you. And this was first designed by Joseph Hewitt in the 1950s and it was intended to track Blue Streak Missile. Blue Streak Missile program was abandoned in the 1960s, but they decided to use the design of Joseph Hewitt and produced two cameras and they were going to use them to track satellites for geodetic analysis. In 1967, the one in Worcestershire stayed there and the other one went to Edinburgh and they were part of the Earth Satellite Research Unit. The two cameras were actually used to track satellites with a very high degree of accuracy. And by 1982, the Worcestershire place had to close and it was moved to Hurston Zoo. In the same year, the camera that was in Edinburgh went over to Australia and was in Siding Springs Observatory. Both cameras still worked together until 1990 when Hurstman Zoo closed its doors. In Hurstman Zoo, one of the things that was quite interesting was it had reached quite a little bit of publicity when it tracked Cosmos 1402 when it had to forced re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Now Cosmos 1402 was a Russian spy satellite. This particular camera was the last camera to take any photographs here at Hurstman Zoo before unfortunately the uh, Royal Greenwich Observatory at Hurstman Zoo moved to Cambridge. What's really interesting, I've been in contact with the Tamworth Regional Astronomy Club in Australia and they actually inherited the telescope from Siding Springs in 2016 and they've now actually got it to work so there may be hope for this one yet. So just to compare, this is a modern 16 inch Mead telescope which sits in this lovely dome and on clear nights we actually use this on stargazing evenings. So this is a comparison really between old and new uh, and you've got the 34 inch Hewitt by the side of a 16 inch modern Mead telescope. Hope you've enjoyed your brief introduction to the Hewitt camera and introducing the uh, Mead telescope that we actually use on stargazing evenings. This is Dome C so if you are able to visit us this is where you need to come to see these lovely telescopes.